We made it. We made it, my stuff. So babe, what do you think of the Tyndale Monument? I think it's quite fitting, seeing as though it's Easter, we've come to the Tyndale Monument, which was built in honour of William Tyndale, who was the guy that translated the Bible into English. And for doing such an amazing feat, they burnt him at the stake. <laughs> and then they realised their mistake and built this as an apology. Hi everybody, welcome back. The tower was constructed in 1866 in honour of William Tyndale, who was one of the first people to translate the Old Testament into English. However, he didn't go down very well and was, um, was martyred in 1566, so it took a 300 year period for them to apologise to him and build this monument in his honour. Bit backward in my opinion. <laughs> Amazing, she can remember all of that. Uh -huh. Hats yeah. off Google. to Rebecca and also hats off to the people that carried all the rocks and stones and stone, yeah. to make this monument because we are literally thousands of feet high. Well, maybe a thousand foot and the climb up here was colossal. It's no easy feat getting up here. Look at the view behind me. This is quite a regal, Let's take a walk around the front. Wait for me. Have a look at the top here. See if you can get the scale. I want to climb up there. <laughs> it's 111 foot high. A uh, high? 111 foot high. Wow. Let's we'll take you around the other side and uh, we'll show you inside. Because you can climb the tower. You can? Yes. <laughs> Let's do it. Don't know how many steps it is though. <laughs> Might be quite a lot. <laughs> I have a feeling it's going to be a spiral staircase like in a castle. Oh well, them things are scary. I know. Especially if you walk on the inside of the spiral because oh. the steps are tiny. Oh don't tell me that. That'll I slid down a spiral staircase when I was a little lad. Did you? Yeah, in a castle. Mm. Didn't help myself. In fact, I wanted to climb up and do it again. <laughs> so it's got an honesty box to pay. So, pound each. <laughs> I'll play that, it's got to be worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go up. Well, here we are, we made it to the top. The views are spectacular, but I've got to say, Coming up that little tiny spell staircase wasn't such fun, was it, dear? No. Rebecca didn't enjoy that at all. I hated it. Monty didn't seem to mind. No, he was good. He's chilled out. But it's it's an amazing view. But I wouldn't recommend it if you're not very fit and if you don't like claustrophobic spiral staircases. Because once you start, you have to go up to the top. There's no stopping. There's no turning around, especially when there's someone right behind you. Yeah. So just take it steady. I'm going to work up my nerve to go back down and I'm going to kiss the grass when I get back down. <laughs> Was that bad? Yeah, I'm honestly, I'm really oh, like give it a panicked. Moment. Yeah. yeah. Calm down first before we try and go down. Yeah, yeah. But it was it was enjoyable and I wanted to do it with you, but no, well I don't like heights and I don't like spiral staircases. Obviously. Yeah. Whilst you calm down, let's show everyone around. Yeah. Take a look at the view. We'll start with the view of Mary. Mary is over here, you can actually see her from the road. Can you spot Mary way down there? <laughs> this is really high. And then from the other side, Rebecca's clinging on for life. It's a bit windy this side. There's a lovely staircase again. And over this side, we have quite a scenic view and less wind. There's all the little people down there. Look at that. It really is incredible up here. I wish I bought my big camera. Could have got some of those nice toy um, village shots oh, with yeah. the special effect on my camera. Yeah. Especially this lot out here, look. And that is incredible. There's the church over there. 
All right, let's give uh, Rebecca time to calm down and get her breath back. And uh, then we'll walk back <coughs> down again. <laughs> I did not enjoy that at all. Oh, I do not like heights. I can't believe I used to go up that kind of height in scaffolding. Never again. I am so glad to be on the ground. If you could feel my heart right now. <laughs> Sorry, I'm I know you think it's really funny and I'm not. I'm really freaked out. I just didn't enjoy that at all. <laughs> oh, I feel my heart. <laughs> Give Rebecca a thumbs up. She just climbed all the way up there. Look at that. That is a long way up. <laughs> Those staircases are things of nightmares, you know, spiral stairs yeah. that you can't go anywhere. And I couldn't, I couldn't film it coming back down because I had Monty in my hands. Yeah, I needed one hand for Monty and one hand to hold on. Yeah. <laughs> you think it's hilarious. <laughs> Honestly, never again am I climbing anything like that. <laughs> Should we go sit down for a bit? Yeah, fuck Go on in. I need a beer. Well, Mel thought that was highly entertaining. And... We're not quite sure whether the guy coming up behind me could see more than he should be because I'm wearing a dress. <laughs> He's got a little short skirt on. <laughs> so he might have had a nice Eiffel. We're not sure. <laughs> <laughs> because he was staring right at my butt. <laughs> I should have let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, he was a bit close behind, wasn't he? Well, I wasn't worried too much. I was more concentrating on not falling. But, uh, yeah. So is there a second grounding vein then on the front as well? It must be. Yeah, there's like two. There's one on the front and one on the back. Looks like it. It's just got to sit here. What do you reckon here? There? Anywhere? Yeah. It doesn't seem that far when you're down here. But when you're up there, the ground seems very small and far away. <laughs> we'll drink, should give it half hour and then go and get some lunch. I think that's a good idea. I'm cooking lunch today. He's going to surprise me with something nice. You can tell she's excited. Have you seen my cooking videos? <laughs> if not, check them out. I'll put one up here for you. So I actually learnt about William Tyndale when I was a kid. And um, I didn't know how gruesome his death was, but I already knew that he was burned at the stake for heresy. Um, but it turns out I've just done a little bit of research. I strangled to death and then burned at the stake. And they thought that he was a heretic for translating the Old Testament in, from its Greek and Hebrew into English. And then a year later, someone actually took his work and continued working with it and the first Bible was translated. So, yeah, it's not very nice when someone does something pioneering like that and then gets murdered for it. They tied him to a stake, strangled yeah. him and then set light to him. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that's just freaking brutal. And the Bible that we know today is because of him. Really? Yeah. Well, there you go. That's grim. And um, we didn't count the steps coming back down because I was too nervous, but I looked up online and it's 121 steps from the bottom all the way up to the viewpoint, which is all the way at the top. It's definitely worth a workout, isn't it? <laughs> it was a workout. It was a workout. But good if you want to have an amazing view and a day out and also we should have bought a picnic, so if you want to come here, we'll put the what three words down below and um, there is a bit of a hike up from the main road, which is down over there. Very limited parking, but if you get here early, you've got plenty of space, haven't you? Walk up through the woods, bring your dogs, get a picnic, great afternoon out. You enjoyed it, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> I enjoyed it very much. And I'm sure the bloke following you up staircase did too. <laughs> Yes, I'm sure he did. <laughs> <laughs> and Monty enjoyed it too, because he had a free ride. He's chilled out. Monty always gets a free ride. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's quite an interesting little history place. So we have just come from over there with the monument, through the trees. I don't know whether you can see through the tree line there. And we are now on Stinchcombe Hill. We've parked the van up. 
and Mel is treating me to lunch that he is going to make, be making all by himself. Aren't you, darling? I'm giving it a go. I'm having a bash. Yeah. So what are we having? Salmon. I've got these salmon fillets. There you go. They're in there mm. just cooking with butter. Nice. Then I'm going to hand prepare some salad. Hand prepare? <laughs> How do you normally prepare salad? <laughs> he does make well, me laugh. What you do, right? You buy this really nice bistro salad from Aldi's. 75p. In weight rows, it's two pounds. Yeah. And the reason I like the bistro salad is because it's got beetroot in it. And I do rather like beetroot. Well, it's and nice it's, and sweet, isn't it? Yeah, and it's not pickled beetroot. It's like just raw it's just beetroot. Fresh, isn't yeah. It? Yeah. The only thing is, I did put this in the bottom of my fridge, so it's a little bit frozen so I'm <laughs> going to put it in the bowls now <laughs> and then it will fall out <laughs> hopefully it will fall out <laughs> well, it's not frozen really look it's just, it's just a little frostbite that's all <laughs> oh dear. I'm sorry I've got still a little bit of a chesty cough we're going to leave him to it I'm going to go and sit on this bench over here we're going to have our lunch over here and this is the top of the Stinchcombe Hill I'll put the location of this car park what three words down in the video description so you can come and enjoy an afternoon here after you've been to the monument if you like and little Monty is going to come out as well aren't you Bubba? Are you chilling out? Now because I've had so many requests on my channel asking me to show you I can actually cook today I'm cooking Rebecca some salmon steaks and we're going to have salad with it bear in mind I've never done this before <laughs> All I've put in the pan is some butter and some salmon, so I just need to heat that up. Now for my salad, I'm using bistro salad from Aldi's. There you go, quite simple, just chuck it in the bowl. <laughs> just turn the heat down a little bit, so I don't want it to burn. Nobody wants burnt salad, do they, dear? Burnt salad, that would be an amazing feat. I mean, burnt salmon. <laughs> <laughs> salmon salad sounds the same, right? Is it a root or is it a router? As people keep saying to me. Tomato, tomato. Yeah, tomato, tomato. Potato, potato. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that even a word? We'll go with that, you know what I mean. It's a Wi Fi dongle. <laughs> yeah, it's Wi Fi. <laughs> I'm going to prepare, Ooh. and this is actually me preparing food. <laughs> I'm oh, going yeah. to make you some guacamole. Yes! This isn't my recipe, this is actually Rebecca's and I've just watched her, I've observed because that's how I learn. I learn by observing. Yeah. Brought a rather large avocado, is it an avocado? Yeah. Is that what it's called? <laughs> <laughs> One of these weird looking things. Oh, is it a nut or a seed? It looks a bit monkey. No, it's fine. That's not bad at all. Mm. Don't flick it on my head. No, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> So we're going to scoop out our avocado. Yeah. Put it in the bowl. Two dessert spoons of sour cream. And what's the next ingredient, love? Garlic powder. Yes. This is the garlic powder. It's pre-dried and pre-crushed. Do it to taste. So I'm just putting it until. I don't know, about a teaspoonful. Yeah, a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Oh god, I don't want much, do I? <laughs> Come on, dear. Some pepper from the local oh. delicatessen. <laughs> so I don't pay for pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't pay for pepper. No, I don't do that. <laughs> don't know why, but the pepper that comes in these little packets is absolutely pucker. It really is. Pepper. Now to make our salad just a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes, some red chilli uh, marinated olives, also got some regular vine tomatoes, I'm going to slice these in half, and because Rebecca really does love them, I'm going to add some seafood sticks too. I oh know, what a heathen, eh? I'm going to add some cold slaw to mine. Rebecca's not a fan of cold slaw, so she gets crab sticks, I get cold slaw. <laughs>
And here we go, this salmon is perfectly cooked. I'll put it on the lowest heat possible and it's just simmered away there in a nice little bit of Juice. butter. <laughs> no, butter. Butter. So it's ready to be served. Smells delicious. Well, of course it does. <laughs> and there is Rebecca's lunch. I hope you enjoy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Doesn't get no better than that. What a nice, simple, easy recipe. I did copy it off of Rebecca. <laughs> look at this, what a perfect place to have our lunch. Beautiful view, beautiful food. What more could you ask for? Great company, and we've got that. Oh, I was going to say, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my love. You're more than welcome. Enjoy your meal. I will. <laughs> so that's it from us. I'm going to say ta ta. Ta ta. I hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you for watching. Yes, and we will see you in next week's video where we're going to be in a completely different place, aren't we? I hope so. Ta ta for now. Bye. Don't forget, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing to my channel and Rebecca's. Yes. And also, give this video a thumbs up, but only if you enjoyed it. Now, because I've had so many requests on my channel, I'll show you. Bear in mind, I've never done this before. <laughs> so I'll just put the lid on that. I've got, all I've put in the pan is some butter and some salmon. So I just need to heat that up. I actually stopped cooking because I forgot to turn the camera on. So I hope you enjoy it.